Hey there, business owners and entrepreneurs. You've landed on The Marketing Corner. Brought to you by CS Design Studios. Every week, we serve up essential insider tips and powerful strategies to elevate your brand. So, let's level up your marketing game. Stay sharp, stay tuned, and let's kickstart your path to marketing excellence. Right here, right now, your adventure begins. Oh, yeah. I love that intro, Lily. <laughs> I love it. I love it, too. I, I listen to it, like, on repeat on the way into work. <laughs> Did I, have I told you that yet? Do you? Yeah. It plays about 117 times. It, it gets you times. ready. Yeah, in, it gets me ready, zone. gets me focused, gets me fired up. That's why I'm here so early all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just can't wait to get he up. He is here early. <laughs> jump in the shower, jump in my car, and it's the only thing I play in my car. Wow. And it's, like, about an average between 115 and 117 times on the way. Yeah. I hear that. Yeah. Boom. And I'm ready to go. Yeah, I bet. It's a good <laughs> pump up song. I like it. Welcome, everybody, to the Marketing Corner. CS Design Studios presents the Marketing Corner, where it's all marketing. This is not our sports show, Lily. I know. So it's going to be kind of hard not to talk sports a little bit. Yeah. But we'll get through this. Yes. We have a special guest today, one of our newbies. Woo! One not of our really newbies. anymore. Not anymore. Technically. Carlitos is Carlitos is the, yes. the new is the new the, newbie. The, the new newbie. Yep. This is the just the newbie. She right. is the newbie on a podcast, though. Yes, her first time on yes. a podcast. She this is so her we'll first podcast mm-hmm. ever. 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 I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi Sandoval, welcome yeah. to the CS Marketing Corner. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Well, thank you, because <laughs> you wouldn't be on the show unless you had something to talk about. Mm-hmm. And yes. you've been here for about three or four months? Yeah, going on four months now. Yeah, she doesn't say much, but everything she does say, we're like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes oh, sense. Yeah. Tell us about your background. So um, I've been in marketing for... Over about 10 four months years. now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> about four months. No, it was about over 10 years. Um, I've worked in the mortgage industry, the self-storage oh, wow. industry. Yeah. And now I'm here at CS Design Studios um, turning over a new leaf, I guess you can say, yeah. because I'm in the dev department. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's going really well. I hope to um, implement what I know in marketing mm-hmm. and apply it to design. So, yeah, here I am. So one of the great things about you, Naomi, is that you know, especially with a dev team. And I say this affectionately, but they're all nerds, right? They're all, <laughs> the only thing they do is work on the websites, which is great. But you bring a little bit different perspective on it because of your experience in marketing, both mortgage and self-storage. Yes, I would I would say so, yeah. I'm not a gamer like everyone else. But, <laughs> which, um. yeah, that's a whole other discussion. I don't understand how you sit there all day then you go on quote unquote break and you sit there and play games. It right. drives me crazy. But hey, Carlitos could do whatever he wants on his break. <laughs> to each zone. Get up, walk around, dude. No, I'm just right. kidding. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little about your experience in this past 10 years and four months now with CS. I mean, what interests you the most? So really, you know, appreciate that you're in our web development department. But what other you know, parts of your experience in the previous 10 years have you worked in? What what other segments of marketing? Uh, so I've done um, like search engine optimization. Mm-hmm. Um, I really, as far as marketing goes, I really enjoy learning about the people that mm-hmm. are buying these products or services. Right. Um, I think it's fascinating who they are. I, I enjoy um, researching um, everything and anything about demographics. <laughs> and mm. I know it sounds weird. But, no, I like that. Um, yeah, I've done a little of everything in marketing as far as like content creation, um, con- um, copywriting, um, website updates. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done a little bit of everything. Um, but I wouldn't say that I'm... I know everything because it's an ever-changing You you don't know how much I appreciate what you just said the last (laughs) minute, you know, because there's so many people out there. I bet you, I I never told you this, Lily. Lily and I work together a lot, so we've, you know, I've kind of shared some of my past, you know, highs and lows. But I probably have inspired, I would say, between 10 and 15 people to start their own marketing agency 
and they have no experience. Zero. It's amazing. That's fascinating. Now, I'm no, not the brightest, you know, kid on the block, but for people to say, to go from, you know, I don't don't want to call anybody out in particular, but from one industry that has nothing to do with marketing Mm -hmm. to like, I'm going to do what Sean does and start a social media agency. That has happened a lot this last eight to nine years. That's amazing because it really does take drive and knowledge to just get out there. But what you just said right now, it's like you're learning something every day. I Mm -hmm. mean, yeah. Did did you see that little thing I put in our chat, the little Trends of Marketing 2024? I did see it and I'm excited to read it because I always feel like I have to keep up on my marketing game because there's always something new. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And that's what makes what we do so exciting to Mm -hmm. me. For sure. You know what I mean? I think sometimes, like, we had a little issue with something this morning that we could have prevented with a little foresight. But, you know, as long as we are efficient with our time and and reserve some time throughout our our days and our weeks to to learn, continuously learn, I think that's half the battle right there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So what about that one aspect of what you're talking about, learning what the customer wants, what their needs how, how, how does, why does that interest you so much? Um, well, because I, I like researching, um, the demographics or just like the mm-hmm. target market because mm-hmm. I know that's going to help me solve my problems in the end. We, we yeah. need, we need her on more often on the show. <laughs> I so I feel knowing who you're talking to is so yeah. important because yeah. you just can't yell at everyone or try right. to reach everyone and hope it's going to stick because right. it's not. Right. Um, I was going to say Lily and I, but Lily has put together some ads for CS. I don't know if you've seen it before, but they're so basic and simple yeah. that they it, it stands out so much. Mm-hmm. Um, we got, we got to show, show you, have you? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it just pops because it's just a headline. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was really, um, I really enjoyed um, seeing them when you shared mm-hmm. them. I really liked them. I thought they were clean, straight to the point, and just new, but... Something you've already seen before, but redone. But we stole them off this other dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, off a webinar. Off we a were webinar. Learning. Yeah, we, we were, were learning. learning. <laughs> exactly. Yes. This, you know, this proves case in point. We were watching a webinar. And we're like, oh, that is so cool. Yes. It's so basic and fundamental. It is just, it works. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And if it yeah. works, why not do it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're listening to this or watching this and you want to know what, this is exactly put something in the comments or text me five two zero three three nine zero two five nine and we'll give you you can come in the office and we'll do it for you yeah we'll do it for you yeah it's super yeah. simple we super just did simple. it for a it's client it's so simple this morning yeah we did yeah <laughs> one of our big new clients <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're like what should we do let's keep it simple yeah let's keep it simple but yep. serious put in the comments text me five two zero three three nine zero two five nine you can come into the CS office and we'll do it for you. Yep. Yeah, we'll do it for you. So, Naomi, where do you see your, I know it's only just begun. It's only been four months. Yes. Right? You seem to kind of like it here. I do. I like it here. It's, yeah. it's a yeah. lot of fun. I love yeah. everyone that I work with. Yeah. So, yeah. So, pretend Wyatt and Michael aren't listening. Okay. <laughs> which, they, they never listen to our podcast. No, no. <laughs> We, we've talked about Michael quite a bit on our sports <laughs> podcast, and he's never said anything. And, and we talked about Aaron, because Aaron's That's never here on Monday. So we oh, like, yeah. Aaron's out um, uh, tap dancing competition Farming, in Oslo. <laughs> laundry. So where do you see yourself in CS like three years from now? Oh, three years from now. Yeah. Um, I see myself as being a well-developed developer, designer, mm-hmm. um, well, continuing... Um, my marketing, yeah. like I really love marketing. Um, it's a passion that I have, but I thought it was time that I expanded mm. my skills wow. um, when I accepted the offer here to learn something mm-hmm. else that I can um, create like a much lar- larger ecosystem. Wow. So, um, yeah, definitely just um, continuing on this journey of mm-hmm. learning um, dev and um, development and design mm-hmm. and marketing. With all due <laughs> respect to our dev team, you're going to be much more. <laughs> <I'm just> gonna, <laughs> not much no. more. You're going to get bored. 
Uh, I say this with a lot of respect because it takes a special kind of person yeah. to sit there day in and day out and work on websites. It really, really does. I wouldn't last a week doing what you do. It would drive me up the wall, right? I say this very respectfully. I think you're going to be, you know, part of like maybe a, a strategist for us. You know, I mean, yeah. the, the way you kind of like raise your hand up every once in a while, you're like, oh, we sh- really should be doing this. We really <laughs> should. How about we do this? You, you ask a lot of good questions. Well, so, thank you. Yeah. I have like some really good ideas and like I hope to um, share them with um, yeah. maybe yourself or uh, Wyatt one day and just see how um, I can um, bring my experience, um, bring it into CS and see yeah. what happens. It's going to happen. Yeah, great. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had you on this show. Oh, yeah. good. Well, thank you. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. So it's thank fun you. though, You're doing right? great. You know, you're doing really, really good. This would be the first episode. And if you have any questions for Naomi, again, put in the comments. Yeah. We're not going to give out her phone number. But <laughs> not uh, yet. Put in, yeah, right. <laughs> put in the comments. Yeah. yeah. So, Lily, we got questions for you. What? <laughs> questions for you. In the last, like, because you've been here for, it'll be a year in May. Yeah. Right? So, what is, and you know what, you, you undersell yourself. You how? do. Because you, you don't <laughs> give yourself enough credit for how much you learn every day. Okay. So... Give, like, like say someone wanted a social media consultation with you. Okay. Right. What are the three biggest things you learned about social media marketing in this last, would have been 10 months now? <sighs> you said you weren't going to ask me any hard questions. This, this is easy because it's totally your opinion. But uh, sometimes mm-hmm. when you learn so much, it's mm-hmm. hard to pinpoint specific things that you've learned. Okay. Here's a dis- Okay. What? Okay, this is totally it's the same question, but the same question, but um, it's going to be asked for you different, from a different okay. perspective. What are the three things three things that you look at when you take on a social media account? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So you just when, got a new client. Okay. You're checking out their Facebook or Instagram. What are the top three things that you're going to like? Check okay. out real quick. Yeah. So I see what they already have been doing, mm-hmm. if they've been doing anything at all. Mm-hmm. And what I like, because some of it is opinionated. So I'm like, okay, yeah. I yeah. would do something different here. So I look at what they've already done. Mm-hmm. And then I look at their website and mm-hmm. I try to come up with some ideas that are similar that I feel like are on brand to them. Mm-hmm. And I create some things that I like. And then I check it with Sean and then we check it with the client to see if this is what they like, because obviously not everybody likes everything that I create. And you know, 99 times out of a hundred were spot on. Yeah. You know, it's pretty, it's when you look at somebody's website, you can have a good idea of what they're trying to portray. And so I just try to be that second little voice Mm -hmm. on other platforms, Mm -hmm. but just like little children of the website. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good perspective. I yeah. like it. I like yeah. it. So, Naomi, what are three things, you know, like you, you talked a little bit about SEO and, yes. and you're knowledgeable in Google business as well, right? Yes, I am. I spent a lot of time in my previous position working on um, Google business profiles, um, GMBs Ooh. previously. Yeah. And even, this is, I'm going to um, date myself or age myself. Um, Google Plus. Wow. <laughs> yes. That's awesome, though, right? I started when it was still Google Plus. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I love that experience, right? <laughs> I mean, even, you know, when I date myself, I mean, I was putting together marketing programs that included, you know, billboards, radio, TV, and those little ads before movies, you know? Mm-hmm. I used, you know? But Google. I love that experience because I still carry over things that I learned back then to today. Yeah, you know? for sure. It's just a different canvas, basically. You Definitely. know what I mean? So what are a couple tips on someone's SEO and their Google? Um, Consistency. Make Mm. sure your business name is exactly the way it is on your website, is exactly the way it is on your Google business profile. Make sure that your phone number is visible Mm. Mm -hmm. and they can, and customers can reach you. Um, Coffee is still king. I don't care what anyone says. Make sure it, um, it meets your goals and dumb it down a little bit. Not oh, everyone yeah. is as smart as you are. So I love, I love that tip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I so. love that tip. Yeah. Because sometimes and, and it's not a, you know, we, we love all our new clients. We love all our clients, but especially our new clients. I, when I was talking, just talking to my parents yeah. about this. Our new clients are really specific, like 
oh niches that it's like, <laughs> and some of the stuff just goes way over my head. And I'm like, can you say that in like, you're not alone terms? though. You're not alone. Lily. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing this forever, but some of our very our new clients are very ultra niche. Yeah. It's super cool. It's you super know? cool to learn about all these it new is. things, but some of the stuff I didn't even know about. And I'm like, you can do that. <laughs> there's something in a meeting a couple of weeks ago and I was just saying yes. And you're like, how are we going to do that? Oh yeah. And honestly, I didn't know. We're just going to figure it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's part of marketing. It's like I think that's why we work good together. Because Sean's like, "Yeah, we'll make it work," and then I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." Yeah, we're always about we to always pack do. up our bags. We do. Yeah. <laughs> out. Yeah. yeah, but we always figure it out. Yeah. Right. So, what about SEO? SEO. Um, so, you know, I'm a believer in backlinks. Mm. Um, yeah. I worked with Yex for many years, and I mm. think. Um, it was beneficial. So I think um, having those backlinks pointing to your website that are consistent, Mm -hmm. um, that are actually going to your homepage or to your landing pages, I think Mm -hmm. that's important. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you want to explain a a little bit about what a backlink is? Because I just learned what a backlink was yesterday. Jordan literally just taught me what it was yesterday. So Uh, so a backlink um, is... um, Another a landing page or another website that is pointing to your website that has some of the um, <clears throat> cr- that has the correct information. The um, it could be like a Yelp listing. It could be a local listing in your area in your geographic mm-hmm. area. So it could be like the white pages. I know like who still mm-hmm. uses the white pages, but they're still out there, and mm-hmm. those um, links still exist. But just having um, websites or listings that point to your website. Um, so, yeah. yeah, that's important. And they got to be credible. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Sean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just learned that yesterday myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been awesome. This is awesome. Do you have any more, like, last bits of advice? And, and keep it, okay, here's a challenge for both of you. What's one piece of advice they're going to give our listeners? And we'll end with this. And I'll, I'll say mine too. Okay. Which you've probably heard. Okay. What's one piece of outside the digital arena mm-hmm. that you would give a small business regarding their marketing? Nothing to do with what we do here though. Okay. I would say uh, networking, word of mouth. Word of mm. mouth Boom. is still, yeah. still very um alive it's still Mm. um very credible in Mm. the marketing world so just like um spreading positivity about your business i like it Mm -hmm. all right lily i think i if that wasn't what you were gonna say i think i might steal yours um because sean's taught me this because obviously i've learned everything that i know from in this area Mm. at least from sean and Mm. um just be authentic you've probably heard us say that a kabillion times but just like (laughs) don't be too salesy and like naomi was saying at networking stuff um we were at an event a couple weeks ago and our ceo was talking about somebody Mm. else and he was like he was just so engaged in everybody else Mm. and listening and not there are some people there who all they want to do is talk about their business Mm. and them and so just be open-minded and a listener and don't just be too salesy trying to get the sale right yeah, away. Yeah. Yeah. And mine it encompasses the two of yours. Um, and, and something Lily helped me out last week, in fact, at our um, networking event at the Sands Club, you know, and I tell everybody this in Tucson in particular, mm-hmm. your first and foremost job is to be one degree mm-hmm. away from everybody. Mm-hmm. Right, you got to be one de- like the six degrees to Kevin Bacon, that little game. Yes, you know, in Tucson, mm-hmm. if you're one degree away from everybody in town, and you do what you say you're going to do, mm-hmm. right, and don't be a jerk, obviously, but then that's half. That's more than half the battle, you know. Because I okay. think, you know, in our event last week, if anybody had showed up to that event and they were new in town, mm-hmm. they became one degree away from everybody with the heavy hitters we had there. Yeah. We had some remarkable, remarkable people at that mm-hmm. event, you know, and I really appreciated that Lily was there and I was totally confident that she's going to like be professional and have mm-hmm. fun. And, you know, so that, that was an amazing event. So thanks again for being there. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't expect anything else but professional. Oh, yeah, thanks, yeah. Naomi. So we're going to have one in May. We, we kind of, uh, 
you know, we, we came up, we can't see the date yet. No, we're going to have one coming up, not in May. Yeah, I was going to say I don't know May. why I said May. We're yeah. going to have one in the fall. Yeah, yeah. We can't say the date yet. But it's an exciting day. Uh, yeah. And you're going to want to be there. And Naomi is going to be there. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I will make it a point so we'll to tell, be there. So we'll tell you the day right now okay. off air. Wait, I think we already told her. Did we? Did we tell you yesterday? Yesterday. I, yeah, I remember okay. you guys were talking All right. about it. Yeah. So put it in your calendar. Uh, okay, yep. I will. But, <laughs> and if you're listening, and if you're not at this event, then you miss out again. But you can become one degree away from everybody in town. You know, Absolutely. we had 65, 70 people there, mm-hmm. including Coach Chip. Yep. Who was the new cornerback coach for the U of A football team. Yep. That's we talked awesome. about him on our sports podcast. Yeah. We were just so impressed. We yeah. can't stop talking about him. Yeah. <laughs> and so with the kind of caliber of people that we had in our event, and you decided to stay home if you decide to stay home, <laughs> you totally missed out. Mm-hmm. You know, because again, back to the question, it's like, Outside of the digital arena, what's one thing that you got to do to for your own marketing efforts mm-hmm. is to go out there, shake hand, kiss babies. That's right. You know, you, you got to do that. You got to. I don't care what your excuse is for missing our event last mm-hmm. week. I, I had a few people text me their excuses. <laughs> I rolled my my eyes hurt all week rolling their eyes. I mean, you'd rather have done this, or this is your excuse rather than not show up. You knew we had 90 people reserved. And, you know, we know some people just can't make it. Something comes mm-hmm. up, right? Sure. But with the people that we had there at such a cool place, and you decided that, I don't want to say the excuses that I heard, <laughs> if that's more important to you than, you know, my best piece of advice for you right now, get out of business, Ooh. find a job, and do yourself a favor. I mean, seriously. <laughs> seriously. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> if you can't go to something that's just that huge and that big of an event, mm-hmm. you know, and it's don't do it. Then go get it. There's nothing wrong with a job. Just don't call yourself a small business owner. <laughs> sure. I, I really missed out. If, if if I could say some of the excuses that I heard, then you'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's my, you know, and I, you know, I'm just going to flat out say it. So, so I guess next time. Mm-hmm. They have to be there. Everyone that called you with an that's excuse, fine. Please we be we there. had free <laughs> pie. We had a taco bar. We we, we had it all. Good food. The Sands Club and hooked prizes. us up and prizes. A lot of prizes too. Yep. Mm-hmm. A lot of prizes. We gave out a nice little gift basket. We have Top Golf uh, gift certificates. Gordy gave out a drone. Yeah, a drone. Mm-hmm. A drone. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the one in the fall, it's going to be even better. Yep. Even bigger better. and better. Bigger and, and better. And yummier. <laughs> that was a little sneak peek. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Naomi, Exciting. Lily, thank you both. Thank, thank you, you both. both for having me. I appreciate are, it. Are you going to come back on? Sure. In another Any episode guess. sometime in the future? Absolutely. All right, cool. <laughs> and maybe next time I'll have a script. <laughs> yeah, we just won this one. Yeah, wung, <laughs> winged. <laughs> I don't know. Winged. Is a it steady winged? guide? Wung is not a word. We just won this one. We gotta get that's out a- of here. <laughs> Bye. And that's a wrap on today's marketing corner guys, with CS so Design fun. Studios. Remember, the journey to greatness is non-stop. Harness today's insights and let them fuel your ambitions. Really like Big thanks to our community of go-getters yeah. and visionaries. And remember to subscribe and activate alerts like to stay connected uh, for more transformative nice. ideas. Till next time, keep reaching for the stars.